Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to predict productivity index from well-head data using machine learning approach. There are three types of machine learning, supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement. There are under this, uh, in this example, our focus will be on supervised learning. Under supervised learning, we have classification and regression. So before we start, let's import our data phase. Here you have seven variables obtained from an oil company operating in the Niger Delta. The first six variables are called predictors and the last one, BI, is called um, response. We have choke, we have well head pressure, we have um, Geo or gas oil ratio, oil flow rate, water cut, pressure drawdown, and then productivity index. So you click here and then close this window. Next is to click apps, look for machine learning, and then recreation. So take note recreation is a machine learning app. A toolbox that can help us to train multiple models and choose the best model to predict our data without writing any code. So click on new session, click on work from workspace. These are the data, this is the these are these are, this is called predictors. We have the check well head pressure and all the other variables then we have only one response which is the pi productivity index then you have validation schemes we have validation schemes cross validation hold out hold out is mainly or recommended for large data sets so we choose hold out and then click start session once you open this window Go straight to where you have models. Under models, you have different types of machine learning models. You choose the one that best suits your data. But if you don't know, it is advisable to choose all. Then the machine would choose the best model for you after training them. So it's going to take time. So let me pause for for a while. So the uh, models have finished training. Let's see the best model should be alighted. Let's scroll down. Look at the best model. So neural network is the best model here so click on it and let's go to plot here you can plot have different plots but let's look at the let's look at the predicted phases actual plot the predicted phases actual plots can help us understand how well this particular model made predictions for different response. So you see a perfect regression model should have a response equal to the two errors uh, uh, predicted equal to the true response. So all the points lie on the diagonal line look at it here the points are on the diagonal line the vertical distance from the line to any point represent the error prediction of that point so you can see this one is not on the line so the distance between the, the vertical line and this point Okay, let me use another one so that you will see the distance. Let me click on another model. Let me plot another model so that you can see the difference of 
what I'm trying to say, let me use uh, this one that has 0 0.4. You can see to, to the distance between this point and this line represents the error of this point. So also take note that the RMSA stand for root mean square root mean square error. So the lower the RMSA, the better the model prediction so at this point the neural net white neural network give the best model or the best prediction so we are going to stop here now in the next video we will extract the the model and all generate also generate functions and then use it for future prediction. Thank you and God bless you.